Today, we are going to talk about carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome, or CTS, is the most common form of dysfunction that affects the peripheral nervous system. It affects 3 to 6% of all adults. In CTS, the median nerve is trapped or compressed by the carpal tunnel. When this nerve is compressed, it causes pain, numbness, and tingling sensations. CTS can be caused by repetitive behaviors, like typing for a long time, trauma, or even pregnancy. For more information regarding the causes, symptoms, and demographics affected by CTS, please check out part one of our CTS series. If you work in an office or if you use a computer often, these are three things you can do. One, maintain a proper seating posture, keeping your neck and back straight. Two, keep the keyboard at elbow height and avoid bending your wrist all the way up or down. And three, include breaks into your work life every 20 to 30 minutes to relax your hands and to give your wrist some time to rest. If you already have CTS, there are a few different ways that you can treat it. One method is to use a wrist splint. A wrist splint is a brace that limits your wrist movement. Some people wear their wrist splints throughout the day or just at night to help treat their CTS. A study showed that using a splint full time works better than only using the splint at night as it led to the greatest physiological improvement. Along with the splints, you can use steroids which help reduce the swelling. The steroids can help with CTS with the splint as long as you don't have severe atrophy and weakness. One study showed that 22% of patients that used both the steroids and the wrist splint were symptom free at the follow up time, which was around 18 months. And 40% of the patients with a mild form of CTS were symptom free a year later after one steroid injection and only three weeks of splinting. NSAIDs, which are non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, can help relieve the pain and inflammation. But please note that NSAIDs do not relieve the pressure, but only the other symptoms. If the NSAIDs aren't working well, you can talk to your doctor about corticosteroids. These can either be injected in your wrist by your doctor or taken as a pill. The effect of the pill is shorter lived, while the injection can provide greater clinical improvement than the oral pill for up to three months. Some of the side effects of oral corticosteroids are weight gain, increased blood pressure, and mood swings. Some of the side effects from the injection are pain, loss of skin color at the injection site, and soft tissue shrinkage. The final route that you can take is surgery. The procedure is a pretty simple one. The surgeon will take an endoscope to see the transverse carpal ligament in your wrist that's applying pressure to the median nerve and cut it, thereby relieving the pain. An important thing to note is that the surgery reduces the pain but does not completely remove it. After surgery, you can undergo therapy which can help relieve post-operational discomfort. But the first thing you should do is contact your primary care provider. For more information regarding CTS, you can check out these websites. Also, be sure to check out the other videos on our Demystifying Medicine channel. You can also subscribe and follow our Twitter feed. Thank you.